here at the BP and uh, command post, they're telling us it's literally all hands on deck. They're trying almost anything to plug that leak. For four days, the spill was thought to have been contained. All the while, crude oil was pumping into the Gulf. 42,000 gallons a day are gushing out, but should the well itself open, 100 times more crude could spew into the water. It could take vastly longer to contain than previously thought. 45 to 90 days is the initial estimate. Fortunately, this 400 square mile lake of slime is nearly stagnant, moving sluggishly towards the coast at one mile per hour. The Coast Guard and BP intend to dispatch a fleet of 32 cleanup ships to scoop up the oil. When the burning rig sank, its 5,000-foot pipeline crumpled like a giant broken straw. The biggest leak at the first crook. There's at least one more leak the well valve is holding for now. BP says it's dispatching a squadron of deep-sea mechanical armed robots. Some will work on repairing those leaks, others ensuring the well valve remains closed. And today, BP is moving in another mobile rig. This one will also drill a well that will bisect the damaged well and then essentially cork it shut with heavy fluids. That process can take months. And we just learned from BP that they're sending in yet another oil rig to drill a secondary hole again, effectively floating over a billion dollars of machinery just to ensure that leak doesn't turn into a geyser.